In this video, you'll learn the importance of using categories to tag the uh, blog posts that you make to specific classes that you're taking in the ONID program. Let's take a look at our um, blog so far. We've had uh, the landing page, our about page. We have a blog page. We've added a 431 page. And for the purposes of, of this demonstration, I've also added a page for Ed 432. Um, demonstrating that there may be a lot of tabs up here for the different courses that you take in the ONID program. You can also look over here and see that there is one recent blog post. That's the Hello World post that is the default blog post that is installed by WordPress when you um, create a blog page. And you can see that the categories for the blog post right now are uncategorized. We haven't put them into any categories yet. That's going to be um, an important tool for you to use so that um, people, either uh, peers or reviewers, can find the blog posts that are related to specific classes because all of your blog posts are going to end up under this blog tab no matter what class they were done for. So let's take a look at how we can, um, first of all, deal with this Hello World post and then how we can add new posts and categorize them f um, so that they show up in the right place. First, let's deal with this Hello World post. We're simply going to delete it. So let's go to the dashboard. Go down to Posts. And we'll see the Hello World post here, and we're simply going to trash it, which means that now we have no blog posts at all. But we're going to add a new blog post. And we'll assume this is the Web Presence blog post for Ed 431. So we'll type in Web Presence. And I'll paste in some dummy text for this. And if I were to simply publish this, without categorizing it, um, it would show up as an uncategorized blog post. In other words, it wouldn't show up as linked specifically to Ad 431. In order to add the proper category, I need to add an Ad 431 category to, to my um, categories list. Well, I've already done that, so I'll click on Ad 431 as the tag or as a category that I'd like to use this under. Publish my blog post. Go visit my site, and you can see over on the sidebar here that it's showing that I have a recent post called Web Presence, and that its category is Ed 431. Um, in other words, Ed 431 is going to be the category for all the blog posts for that particular course. Let's take a look at how you set up categories now. We'll go back to the dashboard, and we'll go to Posts, and we'll create a new post. This post is going to be for Ed 432. The title of our new post is going to be Photos. And I need to add a category. Now, Ed 432 doesn't show up as a category over here, but I can click on Add New Category and enter Ed 432 as a category. This is a regular parent category. I'll click on Add Category. And now I have several choices of ways to categorize my blog posts. If I publish this now and visit my site, You'll see that there are two recent posts, Photos and Web Presence. These two posts belong to two different classes, but by clicking on the category name down here, I can locate all the posts that belong to that particular class.